Hi guys, it's me, Jackson, and in this video, I'm going to show how to make a hop chain with MakerWorld's new feature, Image to Keychain. So first, you're going to go to MakerWorld.com. And then from here, you're going to click on Maker Lab right here. And you're going to scroll down till you see this Image to Keychain. You're going to click on that, and then go from Create from Blank. And then you can either choose a template, but we're doing a custom image, so we're going to do drag and drop image click to image upload then i'm gonna do this image but you can do any image you want when you get to here you can adjust anything you want but i'm just gonna remove my background but as you can see you remove some of this black stuff which i do not want to remove so if that happens to you you can just keep that back on and i'll show you how to fix that later from here you're gonna click confirm so once you get to this page, you're gonna, I like this, so I'm going to click Confirm. And then, so, I have four color programs, so I'm going to click Make it four colors. Four colors. And then I'm going to click Confirm. And then, I'm going to make my background. Since I don't like my background, I'm going to click this, and you can click this number, and make it transparent and then here you can fix some of this up and I don't really need this color so I'm just gonna click it and then I'm gonna make it this color so I'm gonna copy that and then make this color I'm gonna delete this that so now I only have three colors. And then here you're going to go to plate and thickness. And then I suggest to go into this view. So you can see in 3D. And then you're going to click face down mode. And then here you're going to make the thickness 5. Enter. And then you're going to put the image thickness 2. And click enter. And then here. You can look around. I like this. So I'm just going to click download. I'm going to download 3MF. And now that's now that last downloaded, I'm going to open it. And then once it opens, you're going to click on your object and then click on this scale button. And then a normal hop chain size is 170 millimeters. So we're going to make the biggest axis. That could be Y or X. And then you're going to make that 170. Click enter. And then, and then you're going to click on uniform scale. Then you're going to make the Z. Make this. It can be whatever. But now we're going to click 9. Enter. And a normal hype chain is 9 millimeters. Now this is the hard part. Adding the loop. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to my maker world. And then you're going to go to these files right here. They're called Hype Chain Links by Jack of 3D World, which is me. And then you're going to click this drop down, click Download 3MF. It should download. And now you're going to go back to your Bedroom Studio. Then you're going to import. And it should be this file right here. But now you're going to make it import geometry only. Click OK. And you can scoot. And here, you can just delete all of these links because. I'm not going to need them right now. But if you want to go ahead and print these, you can go ahead and print these. But I'm just going to delete these. I'm going to bring this over. And I'm going to right click. And click center. Now I'm going to use one of these rings. Right click. Click center. Now I'm going to move it up with my arrow keys. To the top. And then since this is not going the way I want it to, I'm going to rotate this. The place I want, which is right here. And then if, if we were to print it right now, it your ring would like make your image look weird. So to move it up, you're gonna hold down, you're gonna merge all of these. So you're gonna select them all and then right click and click merge. And now here, you're gonna go to objects and then you're gonna, and it's gonna be either at the top or 
Let's go all the way down. And it's going to be called like V592 or whatever. And then you click that. And then now you're going to be selected on the screen. Now you're going to click this move. And then you're going to move it up. No. And you're going to be careful. You don't want to move it all the way up because then that would be bad. You're going to move it just below the top of this. Don't you think that looks good? Leave it there. And then bring this other ring for here. And this is the one of the most important steps. You're going to go to supports. Turn this on. And then you're going to make this type. You make the type of the supports. It, it goes to normal. But you're going to make tree auto. Like that. And then now I like to go from 20 millimeters standard quality to 0.16 high quality. And then we're going to slice it. And I would slice, let's go print it. Please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. Bye, Jackson out.